Hi, everybody. It's Conscious Medium, Brandon Ross, and I am here with Mary Ellen. Mary Ellen runs the Spirit Fest here. We're live in Largo. Mary Ellen, how long have you been doing this? Oh, uh, since 2005. In Florida, we've been doing this about eight years. And, and it's down here. We're so happy to have you here. Yeah. We, you know, I walked mostly. I'm trying to lose that. Those last, those last 15 pounds, I'm trying to lose them one way or the other. But this is a great event. And it's, you know, the Spirit Fest as a whole, like you're all over Florida. Yeah, literally every city. Um, there's a few that we haven't hit, but uh, we're going up and down the coast and central Florida as well, too. Yeah, so, and next year, we're already talking about being in New York, upstate New York. Yep. Hey, look at that. Here's a guy from upstate New York just saying there's a plan for everything. <laughs> um, but listen, this is like, you know, you look at this and we just opened. The doors literally just opened minutes ago. And... I mean, these venues are really cool. And the thing that I think most people are impressed with is how we seem to find the areas that kind of need a little bit of, I'm going to use the word healing, mm -hmm. but it's, it, 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 it's, it's uncanny how you find these places. Yeah. It's amazing. It really is. And the right people find us too. People at every level of their spiritual development. Um, we've got so many crystals and things too. And, you know, mm -hmm. people are into a lot of different things, but um, the speakers are a huge draw because you can hear speakers all day, including yep. with admission and then awesome workshops like the ones that you're going to be doing. Yeah. So, yeah, it's I, really I'm just, I, I don't mean to make this about me, but here we are. <laughs> no, but it's but it's great, though. One of the things, that, you know, that I've noticed is that I've done a ton of these shows. I mean, I've been in this business for 12 years. And one of the challenges that I always found with this was that you would have like, okay, you've got 40, 50 boots, whatever. And of those, 75 percent of them would be the exact same thing no two booths are the same. I mean, you might have crystals at one, but the product selection, somebody specializes in a malachite. Another one is in their jewelry. Another one is in other things. It's just, it's one of those just unique shows and they really catch that. You you did a great job in sorting out people. This is, Thank you. it's impressive. Yeah, it's we, impressive. we're really blessed with the vendors that we have or we've got really great people. But yeah, you know, you just look at the different types of things that the people have. It's just really unusual things and special things that you're not going to find, you know, just kind of at a random gift shop. Well, there, there, there he is. He's about to become very important to the to all the shows moving forward, as we just discovered. And we're actually talking about how we can expand shows like this. We're talking about a web presence. We're going to be talking about maybe even bringing Penny. Yeah, Penny. Penny's probably watching this now and going, she just spit her whiskey all over the place. <laughs> Right, you you do know that she, like that's not a that's not a shtick. Like she really does drink that much whiskey. I, we're, her and I are going to be best friends. Uh, she, yeah, yeah. she is no joke. I'm like you know, and once upon a time I used to be like, oh, spirit and spirit doesn't go together, and then she proved me wrong because spirit and that spirit go, absolutely go hand in hand, and that's the way it was supposed to be. Mary Ellen, thank you so much for having us. So, so glad you're here. So good to see you. I'm going to start walking around a little right. bit. Thank you guys. It, it's it's such a good thing. Here is my old friend Vicky K. How are you? We're on Facebook Live. Actually, we're we're on, we're on we're on YouTube Live. I forgot I changed I changed platforms. Everybody, I'm no longer part of that party. But anyways, how are you, Vicky? I'm doing great, and I'm glad to see you here. And I look forward to seeing you every time because you have a great personality. And I know you're a great well, thank you. I hope I hope you guys heard that in my ears. She said it. She said I do pretty good at this. That's all. But Vicky's a medium. Go look her up. It's Vicky Gay. Um, she's internationally resound. Her books are fantastic. Um, she's been featured in some of the coolest stuff in the American Psychics and Mediums. Thank you, love. Thank you, guys. <laughs> and I, you know, and I meet people with these really cool things. Remember when I said that no two similar products are the same? I love, I love my group here. How are you, love? I see you again. Hi. Hi. We're on YouTube Live. We're we're, we're broadcasting to over, um, I don't know, eighty thousand people or something. Oh. You're right with that. Yeah, if you sure. had one thing to tell them about your product, what would you love to tell them about? Uh, my products are uh, homegrown, homemade, and they're all organic. Uh, and I love that. You do a lot of pet stuff too, right? I do have a lot of pet things. Where I, I see these guys over here. Yeah. This is the natural flea and repellent. And by the way, I know a lot of you in upstate New York. Uh, this is your time of the year to really be worried about stuff like this. And it's... Yeah, it's wonderful. I, I love this. By the way, you can find them right here. The organic room there. I I love these guys. I'm telling you, the show is fantastic. We were just on with Mary Ellen, and we were talking about the diversity of all the venues here. Oh, there's a lot. Yeah. And this is also, um, how many of these shows do you do? Because she does them all over Florida. 
pretty much all of them. Yeah, you. you so, so you're a repeat offender. Are you? I, I've been with Mary Ellen for close to five years. You know, and that says something to me, somebody new coming into it, that like there's stability there. You know, like there's not a lot of, and she she has a proven way of doing things, and that's fantastic. That's the yes. stuff we look for. That's how we do it. Thank you, love. I'll see you. I'll see you soon. I'm glad you were able to talk. And you know, sometimes you meet people that are just on your spiritual path, and then we come in, and and I'm just gonna crash your booth. I'm just gonna. You don't have anybody, right? I don't want to. I don't want. So we're we're right now we're on we're on YouTube live. There's about there's about a million people watching this. You don't mind, do you? No, I'm excited. No, you look you look nervous, Judy. So I'm not. No, you're not. You're not nervous. You're not nervous. So I wanna I wanna actually I wanna actually let you guys know that Judy is here. She's been at a bunch of these. She goes under Heart for Souls. And how'd you become a medium? Oh, that's an interesting question. Okay, so we're out of time. We're out of time. <laughs> if you ever, if you ever, if you ever want, if you ever want to like, a great story. Like, come yeah, and visit. Great, great story. <laughs> grab a drink. Grab a drink. Grab a bagel. A couple of coffees. You'll end up. You'll end up understanding. So, but but it's so funny. It's it's we, we were just talking with Mary Ellen and Jeff and you know seen her again. A friend girl. We we've just got all of these. This diversity here is so cool. Oh, it's amazing. Incredible. And, wonderful people all following their light their path their guide and there's something for absolutely everybody it's yeah. all about what meets your vibration mm -hmm. and you're ready to take to your next level of development and growth this is, this is so good oh yeah, yeah listen hey. hey, yeah, yeah. it's his birthday oh my gosh <laughs> I'm gonna sing happy birthday. What did I say? I came running over the end. I'm like, I give him a great, I give him a great big hug because I saw him at the last show, and I'm, you know, and of course he's here. And I, so, I, how old are you? 14, 18? 14. Yeah, you've been growing this for a while. I've been, I've been growing it from Thanksgiving to Thanksgiving. <laughs> Terrible. Anyway, so this is, you know, so this is how you're spending your birthday. Yeah, with my family. There you go. Look at that. He knocks it out of the park. So listen, when are you gonna go pro? Good. He's going to Peru with me. So, again, oh. I'm doing that wonderful trip to Peru, Machu Picchu. Um, I have two rooms left if anybody is interested. The first week in March, the 5th through the 11th, and we will be, um, that is going to be all kinds of sacred ceremonies. There will be plant medicine. There will also be drum making. Oh this my is going to take you to the next level of your spiritual path. Well, I'll tell you what. This, uh, we're going to do something here. Are you guys ready? So I am going to Sedona next week. Uh -huh. Okay. So as you know, if you're going to Machu Picchu, that is along the shaman line. It is. So what would you like for me to plant there? And then you plant something in Peru and we'll begin to connect the dots. Oh, I love that. Absolutely fabulous. How cool All is right. that? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you uh, know, I don't, oh, stop. <laughs> Think about it. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. Okay, right, right, right. And then I'll give something to you from Sedona, and then we'll connect the dots. I love that. I love that. And, and the last time that I went, I went to Peru um, last December, and it was really aligning the, from when I had gone out to Mount Shasta. And so oh, again, at the top of the shaman line. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And I do some work that's out in Georgia, which is very specific with drawing lines down. Yeah, they're all. Did they're you all did connected. you find that the um, that the stones that just got wrecked out in Georgia? When you say Georgia, you mean Georgia, as in the United States, Georgia. United States, Georgia. Yeah. Yes. So, did you find that when those cornerstones, like, did you find a connection to those? Um. I felt the relief. Me it, too. Oh, we all did. Because Me too. that was a different vibration of energy that's in all of our best interest. And, you know, I've done a lot of work with uh, Rosa Crucibles. I've actually, I've taught some Rosa Crucibles and they just, they're wired in a way of like retribution. And I never understood it. I'm like, that's not as spiritual as what you would like it to be. But by the way, it's just a couple of mediums having a conversation. So, <laughs> so what and, I. And I'm a trance channel. So it's very cool that I go ahead and drop in a trance and while for God's sake. Can I do a quick message to their audience? Do you sure. Mind? Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I've got um, Archangel Michael is going to pop in. So hold on. Archangel Michael here, wishing each of you to step into that purity and power and that divine essence thereof, following that sacred path of love. The strength and courage that you need 
it is always available. Call upon, and I shall always be beside you. Blessed ones to each of you. <laughs> so, so <laughs> you got a cackle at the end there. What are you doing? You, like, you went like full hocus pocus on us. Like, what's up with you? They tickle so bad on oh, the inside. Oh, that makes all the way sense. When they come in and out, that I can't help but giggle so bad. So yeah. I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna share this with you, but I will. Archangel Michael is the one that told me to go to Sedona. Of course he did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just, just saying. Those of you that are paying attention at home. Um, yeah, that was kind of cool. Uh, but listen, thank you guys. I'm going to. You're welcome. I know you got to keep going. I, I can't, listen, when you go pro, right? <laughs> so we're getting ready to do a whole bunch of really fun stuff next year with live videos and being able to do presentations and everything else online. I would love to. You guys are going to love fun. that. Right, you guys are going to love that. Thank you so much. We're seeing my friend here. Listen, you got to say hi, brother. How are you? Look at all of this fun stuff, everything from the dream catchers. So you follow a lot of the Wiccan lines here with, with the work that you do, but it's so diverse. I love, you know, I love the tarot deck here. Um, you know, talk about speaking to the, speaking to the world, right? You know, the world that we're in. How did you, so what draws you to this? Uh, the universe, you know, just uh, the energy. Um, we try to do a little something for everybody. I know, you know, I know. This is great. And I love your pendulum setup here. Oh, thank you. Holy Toledo. I'm going to walk around the front so we get a good work on this. Yeah, no yeah. there's only about 100,000 people watching right now. Yeah, well, you know, that's I, you know, I'm also a Pisces and, you know, and I they rarely tell the truth. So there's that. You know, you got that going on for you. 100,000, 15, somewhere in between. The number's somewhere in between there. Yeah, and I love this. And by the way, you pendulum workers, yeah, this is really cool. Pendulum workers, this is a great. This is a great disc for you guys. You got to get down here. We're in Largo, just outside of Clearwater. Um, what a great stuff. Moonwater. I love this. I love that idea. A lot of people talk about Moonwater all the time, and then they end up with it in their like thermos or something, and then they're like, "Here you go." Oh, love this. Love this. Thanks, brother. Hey, hey. I'm gonna see you later. And look at that. They've got like 15 people waiting on them already, and it's it's such a fun time. And some of my favorite people are already working right now. Uh, the Foot Guy, the ancient healing for a modern world, he is one of the most unique people I've ever met. Joe is one of these guys who's just fantastic. I want to make sure that I'm kind of not getting the client there in line, but it's um, he just does amazing work. Hey guys, how are you? How are you doing? Say hello, say hello to the YouTube world. Yes, listen, you want to get some henna? This is fantastic here. Hello, guys. We're coming right down the pipeline. So brush your hair out, everybody. Brush your hair. Time to look fabulous. Time to look fabulous, everyone. Brandon's got a camera. How are you? Oh, look at this. We're, sh we're showing the diversity of this show. We're talking to some of the mediums. How are you, love? Come on on, Kim. How are you? Good. Another one of our, our mediumship friends here, Kim. Um, we're talking about all the diversity and all the different types of readers that we have here at the show today. And this is just a lot of fun. A lot of fun. And so I'm a trans channel. you're a trans channel, and it's funny. So many of the this is the mic. Um, you know, so many of us. We, we were just. I was just joking with Judy, and I said, "So, how did you become a medium?" <laughs> exactly. Whatever. If you if you ever want to like make make a a medium like stumble, just politely say to them, "How did you become a medium?" And then they go, "All right, well, it started in the womb, right?" Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I love your stuff. I want to make sure everybody gets a good look in Divine Timing with Kim Sinto. Oh, my gosh. The untold true story. You know, I've done a lot of work with the Gnostic Gospels, right? And is are you taking it from the Gnostic Gospels or are you? directly from Mary. Oh, so it's her writing. So this is like, this is the diary of what she handed down. I love story it. With you know I'm grabbing this for the plane I'm ride. A, um, so do you also, who do you work with for that? Uh, what do you mean? Do yeah, like, did you work with somebody to learn that? Did you get a divine no, download? I just started channeling. I just, I love you it. know, I started doing this work. I've been an intuitive my whole life. And then it just started, it just started coming through and I just perfected the craft. I love it. I can't wait to read it. I'm going to see you soon here, Kim. Thank you so much. 
And listen, talk about talk about unique and diverse. Be back a second. Talk about unique and diverse. Hello, my friend. How are you? Yeah, did you get taller? All right. Well, uh, he's he's seven foot four. Everybody. He's also known as a guy. So listen, I, I'm going to show some of your artwork, and this is just jaw dropping. It's jaw dropping. So you are known as the ghost boy illustrator and intuitive painter. Um, do you mind if I come around so you can get close to my ear? All right. Here we go. So how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Good. How you been? All right. So so how did you become the Ghost Boy Illustrator? And tell me what you do. So uh, it started when I was really young. I've always been kind of into the spirits and kind of receiving those messages. And as I kind of grew into all of this, I realized that, hey, you know, I can actually reach out to people and yeah. share messages that I'm getting. So what's your technique? So my technique is I use a combination of oracle and intuitive practices um, to basically channeling spirits as I'm giving readings. Yeah. And I'm a very visual person, so I will see things, either in my mind's eye or around yep. the person, and I translate that onto a little watercolor painting. So, I love it. I love this kid. I love him. Listen, so bud, I'm going to see. I want to make sure that you guys get a chance to see who he is. Nicholas is fantastic. He does a lot of work. You can also just Google him at Ghost Boy Illustrations. He's got top hit. Absolutely. Don't think I didn't look you up, oh, brother. Yeah. All right, listen. You got a good team here. Thank you, guys. Have a great show. We'll see you guys later. And I love Soul Stones. These guys are great. Hi, guys. It's Brandon. You're only going out to about 8 million people right now. Is that okay? Is that about right? No pressure. <laughs> do, do you expect to see that or no? I mean, it's kind of like a cool thing. And, you know, it's funny. We're Mary Ellen and I were talking about the diversity of how, you know, doing this for a long time. Sometimes what happens is, is everybody's doing the same darn things at the shows. Not you guys. You guys go out to Arizona for these, don't you? Mexico. To Mexico. Yep. Oh my gosh. So listen, get right in my ear here so then I can hear you. Okay, so, this is from Mexico. I'm from Colombia, but uh, I enjoy to give all the opportunity for the people. And this is a beautiful star. These are handmade white mm -hmm. olives. And look, I have a lot of different kinds. Yes, for sure. And I think this is beautiful. Listen, you're in charge too. <laughs> so are, are, are you not from Colombia? I'm not from Columbia. I am from Florida. Florida. <laughs> from, Tampa, from Tampa, Florida. She's right next door. By the way, pool party at her house later. That's how we're doing it. Yeah, that's, this is how this is how you end up getting everybody here. So it's uh, it's beautiful. I hope you guys have a great show. Oh, thank you. And we will, I love your diversity. Oh, I love you. how you guys have everything. Yeah. And I, you need some I, over here. Oh, you. <laughs> we pick it up. We carry it. Oh, guys. It, uh, you know, again, this is one of those things where I've just seen like really good people like they're just good people I'm speaking of good people Hi. how are you love how are you good listen i love your shop here mary ellen and i were, were set the tone here about how diverse everybody is yeah. and, oh you're from up north yeah yeah oh yeah i'm, I'm from over syracuse originally with Sarah, mary ellen which, oh yeah, yeah yeah i'm branded i'm the guy i'm oh, the guy yeah. on the other side Hi. of the state that said you should come to new york for a while yeah yeah, yeah so tell me about what you got here what well i work with a lot of higher guides sure so and they all of these are Card decks that I made, they're all channeled. I did all the artwork myself. Beautiful. Same with my book here, uh, my trilogy. This was, <laughs> they asked me to write visualizations for the chakras, and I ended up writing a transformational epic. Oh, uh, I love it. So I channeled I like, love uh, it. 84 guides with this one. So all of their messages are in there. These are all energy boards that are individually hand painted. They have meditations that come with them. This one connects you to earth consciousness. Oh, I and love the that. Inner Earth civilizations. I absolutely love that. That's amazing. I love that work. It's so funny. And and a few of your, uh, a few of us here. I'm going to Sedona next week. Oh, Judy yeah. is going to Peru in a couple of months. We're going to start to grid the shaman line. Yeah. Maybe we should be talking to you. Yeah, it would be great to have a conversation because of I course. work with. Um, elementals, I work with the Lemurians and the Agarthans and the Shi. Oh, so and, let us go right up. Oh, Mar Marilyn, you want to pop back on? So this is what's happened since we since we last spoke. Okay. Right? Yes. So Judy and I are talking about our upcoming trips. I'm going to Sedona next week. She's okay. going to Peru next year. Okay. <laughs> we need a little earth gridding work going on here. Okay. So we're going to all kind of do, we're going to call it an earth 
frustrating project. Yeah, okay. We'll capture it all. I'll capture my part. She'll capture her part. We'll turn it into a five-part miniseries, and we'll all become famous. Yeah, that sounds great. Yeah, right. Okay, working, there you go. I've been working a lot with the inner Earth civilizations, the like Garthens, the Lemurians, the She, the Elementals. And strangely enough, um, Nancy is also from Syracuse, which yeah. is my hometown. That's what we were just yeah. talking about. Yeah, yeah. so um, she's really good <clears throat> at identifying certain locations in the Earth grid, too, like Niagara Falls, which I thought yeah. that was interesting. Yeah. That was, Field trip. call it a portal? Yeah. Right, yeah. and yeah. that's why they Lily Dale is right next door. The higher yeah. consciousness is coming in through the Niagara yeah. Falls right now. Really? It's an energy center. And actually, there's a pentagon-shaped energy field over the, all of the Great Lakes. And yep. that's one of the points is Niagara Falls. That would make a lot of sense. Yeah. Is that part of the reason, I get this question a lot from where I am, is that the reason why like Herkimer diamonds have such pull on them, like such vibration to them? Is it kind of that residual? I think there's a lot of that energy going on. And I also mm -hmm. find it interesting that the, speaking of the Indian Confederacy, yeah. was all circled in there. So I think there was like a lot of higher conscious guidance. Sure. And democracy. You know, uh, oh, oh! So, are we talking about um, the the, the, whole... the Pluto return for the United States? Yeah. I told you, I found my people. Yeah, yeah. You but first. I've <laughs> I've done I've done quite a few videos on the Pluto return for the U.S. and how yes. it's all kind of coming undone. Yeah. And I actually talk about how we have to get back to our shaman roots in order to actually make this country great. Yes. Yeah. How about that? Go ahead. Did I just feel somebody's tagline? Yeah. This I'm is sorry. Light. All of her sprays are fantastic. The negativity purifier, people buy it in bulk. It's yeah. so good. It doesn't yeah. surprise me. Yeah. Yeah. It does it's, not surprise me. It's had me a lot either. of dramatic yeah. results for people. Yeah. It really helps clear stress and depression. But I've been finding that the guides that channeled it are working real time with the spray with people. Isn't that, so that explains real time is where it's at, yeah, you know, and it, if you have the challenges that I've had, you write a book and you're like, where is this going to go? It gets in the right hands when you're supposed to get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Oh my gosh, well, listen, yeah, I want to get okay. to a few more people. I, I already I have some people at my okay. table already, but okay. I'm going to keep doing this. So I'm going to, my gosh. Yes, yes, absolutely. And I, I had to highlight these guys. By the way, say hello to all of YouTube, everybody. Yeah, so can we show this a little bit? Can we show one of your, my God, yeah, are, what are you eating? Are, are you going to finish that? Well, these guys really caught my eye at the last show. They have this incredibly, they use a resin, right? And uh, here, why don't you guys talk about it? Yeah. yeah. Well, oh, get, get, get in my ear. Get yeah, guy, you know, what guy get in your ear? It's a, uh, it's a two-part epoxy resin. Yep. Uh, we do. Go, hold on. Uh, we, we, oh, yeah, hold on to it. Yeah, there we uh, go. But we mix it up, color it to whatever anybody wants. Mm -hmm. uh, throw in glitter, if that's your thing. You want something sparkly? <laughs> and, Are you talking to me? Because that's yeah, kind of yeah, 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 you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm part fairy. Get over it. Yeah. Well, that we all understand. <laughs> <laughs> well, but it's just it's one of these unique things, and it, you know, and people are always looking for stuff to do with their crystals, you know, and you know, you've got some other fun stuff. This one's really super. Hey, you gonna buy that? Oh. Uh, you don't know. All right, I think you should. Unless you're buying it for me. I think you. I, unless I'm buying it for you. Uh, listen, we don't have the sponsors for that yet, but I love your dragon work, and this is Enchanted Florida Crafts. You can find them on really cool. Where are you guys are on Etsy? Uh, Squarespace. Where is it? Squarespace. Oh, Squarespace. So just Enchanted Florida Crafts. You're going to take a look for them. Get your dragon on. Get these moons. By the way, look for it with the Spirit Tree Artisan. We've got a cool thing coming up with these guys. But thank you, guys. I'm so I'm so happy to see you. There's so many people I'm coming to you. How are you? I am doing great. If you were, if I was any better, I'd be a twin. Listen, this intuitive painting work. Come on, talk to me about it. Let me come next to you, love. There we go. First of all, purplecloudstudio.com is where where you're gonna find this. So how are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Good. So what what are we feeling here? Well, we're waiting for people to come down the Sounds like a little walkway. <laughs> well, we're at the end of the by road. noon, by noon, we're not gonna we're we're, we're gonna be down. so busy. They just built it down. I know. So if you want me to paint for you, you step into my space. You stand on my little uh, rainbow rug. Mm -hmm. uh, I give you a visualization, mm -hmm. and then I make the connection. We take a couple deep breaths, and then your people talk to my people. They tell me what to paint to get me to say the message that you need to hear today. This is beautiful. I'm gonna show a few of your examples here. 
this is like some really intense work that you've done. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. She's got them right here. She's got them right here. There you go. The spirit guided painting. This is just beautiful work. You never know what's going to happen. Which is I know. Happen. This is just one of those like incredible. Now, do you do anything remotely? I do. Actually, yeah. this is a remote one. Yes. I do private gatherings. I can do it on. All right. So we're going to Dr. Seuss this, right? I uh -huh. can do it in a box. I can do it with a box. Right? <laughs> I can do it when you stand on the Great Wall of China. Uh, well, you yeah. know, not freedom, not, freedom notwithstanding. Yeah. You know, we'll kind of. Well, well. They're much more free than what people give them credit for. But anyways, we, we don't get into that right now. Right. But listen, this is, I, I love, I love this group. And Mary Ellen and I are talking about how diverse everybody is. And I just, I love the energy of this stuff. And it ends up, it ends up being like creative and people following their path. I love your path. Right. And you know what? Helping others in our way. You know, when you forge ahead and you figure out what that path up to looks like and maybe where you're going, you help those behind you. That's our job, to be a beacon. And, and a reflection because when Absolutely. you become the mirror though that's when we all get in trouble is when we're like oh i'm doing too much of their work for them yeah, you, you give them a the, painting and you say here's your work right here's your homework it's a lot of homework Absolutely. Uh, thanks if i stick around much longer it'll be more work i know right thank you. thank you so much so good to see you oh and how about some magical photos my good friend athena is actually doing a session and I'm going to make sure that I don't just say hi love just say hi it's only it's only 8 million people she's one of my favorite people here she's one of those authentic people that she hugs and holds and here's an amazing group as well where, where they're doing sound healing they're doing tuning this is true divided divine guided work and I love your space guys oh say hello loves how are you we're only going out to about 8 million people right now. You don't mind, do you? Yes, yes, we're in Largo. Listen, I'm going to do a run through in their stuff. And don't forget what I was saying, how everybody has this just unique way of what they feel they're meant to present. Look at the Celestite. Hey, listen, if you guys have some, oh, I'm definitely doing some of this work right here. Wow, you've got the, uh, you got the lunar eclipse coming up. You need some Celestite. Don't mess around. Don't mess around. Get yourself some Celestite. You also want to build in. Look at this piece. Oh, this is the reason why my bags can't get through the TSA. They weigh 2,000 pounds when I lose this stuff. I mean, I know I own a shop and everything, and I know I have a lot of really cool stuff of my own, but boy, I see this stuff and I just become googly eyed. I think like I'm 12 years old. Right? And I love this setup. Look at this triple tier. Hey, Sandy, get a load of this. We're getting on top of that. That's for sure, but these are truly like unique style people. And I'm coming over to my my angel fairy hair people, whom I love and adore. And you know, it's starting to fill up. We're starting to get a little busy here. We're starting to see we're starting to see, you know, people where they are. But my fairy hair people, I have to say hello to. How are you? Hi. How are you guys doing? You know, they've got these great crystal crowns. These are really cool and unique. Um, they, they, they're handmade. They've got great pieces here. They're fairy tale crystal fantasy. If they're not, if they can't get here in Largo, where do they find you? Um, online, fairy where? tale underscore crystal underscore fantasies on Instagram and fair, and Facebook.com fairy tale crystal fantasies. You'll see us there. That's well. awesome. That's Thank awesome. You. I love it. I love what you guys do. Thank Look you. at that. They're crowns. Look at that. What is this one? Road Knight? Road Knight. Yeah. Road Knight, yes. And then what is this one here? Tiger's Eye. Tiger's Eye. Wow. What do you have here? Citrine? Citrine. Yeah. Good Good to wear on your first day at a show. This is the one where you want to say, hey, there we go. Hey, I got to go. I got to go see. I got to go search Nemo. I got to. I'm, I'm, I'm finding Nemo. Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. It's my own jokes, guys. Hope you guys are enjoying this. These guys are great. You know, it's so many readers. And again, people have jumped right in there. How are you? <laughs> yes, these guys are good. Well, hi, Terry. How are you? How are you guys? <laughs> um, Heidi, of course, we've met before. Christine Donovan. Many of you know her already. Um, hello, love. Say hello, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hey, We're, saying, We're saying hello. Huh? I was coming down here because I've been trying to find Nemo. I've been trying to find Nemo. I'm finding Nemo. Where are you, Nemo? Do I look like a fish? Do you see this right here? Well, you look like you're out of water. 
I oh, I am. Listen, you're only going out to about eight million people right now. So I know, all, that's even great. You know, here, eight million? here I am. Only, yeah. uh, only eight million, give or take a few. We're having a blast at Spirit Fest. Uh, yes, we are, oh, and Nemo is one of the uh, anchors here. Um, you with just Spirit no, I said you're an anchor. I, I called oh, you foundational. Anchor. I called you okay. a number four. I okay. called you a number four. Oh, okay. I don't know what. To... So, yes, we are at Spirit Fest. We're having a blast in Largo, Florida. Oh, that's really scary when you come up that close. Yeah, I was going to say. And we have all it's these like, great sightings. It's like, can you, can you back up? How do you feel about Cleveland? Side chicks also. I uh, yeah, they're uh, you know they are great side people. chicks. Oh my gosh, I didn't get a chance to meet you guys yet. How are you? Good, good. This is Brandon. Hi guys, how are you? Good to meet you. So you guys are set up. Do you guys read each other, or do you actually let people in on this? Oh wait, hold on a second. Let me stand next to you so that then you can get in my ear. This is the microphone. What we do is we actually read you both at the same time. We actually have two seconds you. Usually, I have to pay double for that. No. <laughs> that's fantastic yes. though so so you guys actually you know i have some colleagues that i've worked with over the years where when we've done stuff like that it's like we're both kind of getting the same things how do you guys differentiate like do you specialize in certain mm -hmm. well, like a aspects I and pick a little bit more up on medical and both mediums so we pick up people that are behind it and usually it, it tends to be a lot of different information it's, yeah, it's, it makes it's sense. Hardly ever the same. So, have you thought about Lima? We'll see. You like, yeah, I've got to go around. And have a yeah, you've got you've got people. We're busy here. So it's funny. Maybe you guys well, here. I'm gonna both, I'm gonna come over here so you can yeah. both get on the screen well, here. We both died when we were kids. Oh, and so you had back. an NDE? Yes, yes. We, died when we, were we kids. all have something in common. <laughs> we we came back. We came back very different. We didn't realize it. You know, seven, eight-year-old kids don't see dead people walking around. Yes, we do. We wrote a book about it. By the way, so my my joke that I've been saying to all the mediums is: so when did you know you were a medium? You know, and then everybody just pauses and they're like, oh, I got to say this whole story again. Like, I was a kid and I died. I had an experience. I had something yes. or another. And it's it's funny because in this this dual thing, I think a lot of people start to, how did you guys decide that you should work together? That's we just knew. Yeah. yeah. We just knew. It just happened. That's and great. It just, and, and it just flowed so well. Yeah. It's like, you know, some people when they work together, there's too much ego and they, you know, do a lot oh, of that. So you went through an ego death too in the middle of all this. Yeah. Boy, so you decided to grow right away. Yes, yeah, pretty much. Yes. Oh, yeah. Just fantastic. Well, <laughs> it's funny. Have you guys ever thought about like looking at the houses and deciding which ones, which houses you guys cover? Because that's the feeling I get. Like you might be houses one through six, you might be houses it seven through twelve. Well, my sister's is in from Texas. She's a master astrologer. Yeah. So she... Ask her about that because yeah. that's what they're showing me. And oh, wow. and. You know, and it may be something where it's like you do, you both might do, you know, four, eight, and 12. You might both do some psychic stuff, but mm -hmm. you focus in on the health part of it. And you focus in on the business part of it. Yes. You focus in on the identity. You're a big 10th house person, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> yeah. You're about like, hey, this is where we're going and where we're going yes. to. And then you're like, it. and then you're like, but you have to take care of yourself or you're not going to yes, get there. Yes. I'm more oh like, my gosh. It's a case study on Brandon. Yeah. I guess a little more. The empath part, where little yep. the emotional issues that people have, sure. uh, relationship issues, things like that, and then she picks up a lot on the business side and yeah. things as far as jobs and and just uh, you and know where you be going and, and all that. Yeah, she, yeah you know, and you know about. you probably have this challenge. She guys would be a great interview. Welcome, I'll, I'll bring you on the oh, podcast. Yeah. We'll do a great time. But but let me, I, you know I want to say this like for me sometimes I like I'll be getting messages about their health and they're like I just want to know what's going on with my business. Yes. Do you find that like? Oh, definitely. Yes, but definitely. by the time they actually say something, we've already covered pretty much everything. <laughs> so, so oh, so you use my technique where you just keep talking until they can't. No, no, just say. We ask them if they have any questions, but you know we're just like when she stops, I start one. I stop, she starts, and it's just flip, 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 flip hard. And wow. I use charms and we just use all sorts of different yeah. modalities. Yeah, that's We've been great. Doing this since we were kids. That's beautiful. How long have you guys have worked together though? Only about five years. Yeah, but you guys but were we've been doing it separately, individually. Yes. I'm the eighth generation on both sides of my family have been doing this. Mm -hmm. And she's also what's the a, what's the A connected? What is the, the are A? You, are you actually as teching? What is this? I might be yeah, I might she, be my she, she 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 was from her parents, her family's from Peru. And yeah. my, great, uh, my great great grandmother was Antonia. Yeah, she Antonia, read Antonia. Brandon, hi, how are you? I'm a medium, so this is what we're hanging out with. Oh, wow. So this is connected to you for sure. I mean, it's, she's she's yeah, like it's in my bloodline. I've known. Yeah. And then meeting her, she's Native American shaman, also. So mm -hmm. it's it's uh it's like a what is it? 
the Hallmark Christmas movie, but the spiritual. spiritual yeah, Hallmark. it's you get, there, there's the spiritual Hallmark channel right here. It's kind of like, yeah, we'll kind of do this. And and then we get Nicholas involved over here, and he's going to do your painting. And it's, it's just going to be wonderful. Thank you, guys. Hey, oh, one so I, Thank listen, you. I'm going to see you guys yeah. soon. Thank you guys so much for being a part of things. Yeah, people are really starting to fill up. Hi, guys. How are you? I'm saying hello. Hello. Oh. She's not really sure what she wants to do. It's all good, though. How are you? I'm Brandon. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. How are you? Inspirational tarot reading. How do people find you out on the internet and all the other stuff if they can't make it to the show today? I'm on Facebook and Michelle Rexford. Perfect. And I have Perfect. Here, uh, that I make when I do and they form a These are beautiful. You had me at mouse pad. Yeah, I mean, you know, two oh, that's great, though. But you know, don't you feel like you're living your passion? Oh, I love it, I, and I do reading, so I'm doing both of what I love. I love artwork, and I love reading. Of course, well, you're so good at it. Thank you so much. We are only talking to about eight million people right now. All right, hi everybody. Hi everybody. Yeah, no, no, no gift whatsoever. Will you put that down for crying out loud, brother? How are you? Listen, you want to see some great jewelry too? Wow, you got you guys are like jewelry row. Last week. Oh, look at this. He, he said he's been making this for a week. So how long does it take for you to, to pull that? This is about eight days. I'll finish it in about an hour. Yeah. But so you, you know, use a lot of wire wrapping. Like this yeah. is intricate, intricate I stuff. Call these tools for transformation. Tools for transformation. That's the name of your business, right? So my business is the Golden Age Art Gallery. Golden Age Art Gallery. Instagram, Facebook. Uh, I'm www.thegoldenageart.gallery. You needed to add that in to get it, huh? Yeah, because if you don't put that dot gallery and you put dot com, you're not going to see it. Fingers on the camera. Gallery, gallery. What's fingers, that? Fingers on the camera. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I somehow oh. flipped it around. Thank you, Mary Ellen. I flipped it around. I thought it was, I wasn't even looking at it. All right, hey, start well, that again. We were telling you the author takes about eight days to make that we've been with. This is the Metaphysical Tools of Transformation. I'm Sebastian Wolf from the Golden Age Art Gallery here. www. Uh, the Golden Age Art Dot Gallery. Anything that you need, I can specialize and custom make you one. So for her, I have. Oh. Uh, uh, listen, I have seen a lot of wire wrapping, and I have seen a lot of creative art stuff. You guys are out of this world. I mean, I know you're mutually exclusive, but there's no reason why you guys, I mean, there's a specific reason why you guys got together I've next to each other. Years, I follow my heart. I think it's you're doing okay, hard. right? Yeah. After, after like 25 years, you're like, yeah, I think I got this, right? Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry that they, like you guys didn't necessarily see some of that stuff. Thank you so much. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm going to turn it around again. I had, I had jumped it. This is my new friend, Jenny. We're hanging out together. Hi, how are you? How's the food? What would you get? I, I got sloppy joe. I have no idea yet. Yeah, <laughs> well, it is it, it is a schoolroom class at the cafeteria. Uh, you can find Jenny Martin out there with her spiritual counseling. There's her number right there, assisting and healing. She's a wonderful soul. She couldn't wait to say hi to me. Thank you, love. I'll see you later. All right. And my friend Kristen here, she's in the middle of a reading. And again, we don't do, we, we don't show. Hello, love. Um. We don't show readings while we're here, but we're going to do this right here. Kristen is just one of these great mindful people that when she connects with you, she's just, she's all about the golden heart. She is all about the golden heart. And I'm going to say hello to Siobhan, who also has a client right now. Siobhan, just say hi. I'm going to give, she does totem medicine wheel work. She's an intuitive energy artist, beautiful energy artist right here. Um, just such cool people. Stay in your lane. Yeah, that's all good, guys. Um, just beautiful souls, people that want to help one another, people that want to use their gift and find their time together. Um, and yeah, I want to say hi to Scott. I want to come over here and say hello. Um, he had a client before. He's explaining right now how his work is. You guys mind if I say hi? You know, there's only there's only eight million people watching right now. Well, I mean, it looks like it's fifteen, but you get you understand. You understand. And and of course, we're doing. He's doing his explanation on all of his work um, and belief that your feet are really kind of this ancient history and this wisdom and being able to do releases and have that connection. 
it's he's, he, this guy blew me away. Those of you that know that I have feet work, I've been doing his, I've been reading up on him quite a bit, and he's going to be one of my stops here today. Ugh, I love this work here. These guys are great. Um, yeah, stay tuned, everybody. It's great stuff going on. This show is really fantastic. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. And I skipped one of my friends here. I can't not say hello. I have to say hello to Oriel. How, how are you, love? Did you think I was ignoring you? No. no. <laughs> I just got so, I, I get so distracted by shiny things. So and again, fun. I love the thing that we've been talking about is how diverse each one of yes. the tables are. Like, even though, you know, people are doing jewelry, but there's just such different jewelry. That's and because such we're different all individuals, right? Yeah, it, it's, it, this, this show really, really embraces it. Yes. Um, and her book is out, I Am Psychic, Not Telepathic. Angels, A Psychic Story. Some really cool stuff here. Wow. Wow, I love this stuff. Ariel, thank you so much. Like, do you enjoy these shows? Yes. Like I the, do. It's kind of like the Super Bowl every day, right? It's fun. I mean, uh, because you get to meet people, you get to meet the people that actually are in the show, and then mm -hmm. the people, the clients and customers that come here. You know, so... I, I have to say this. The, the clientele that I have found that come to this, like, they're looking for something and they typically find it. Yes. It's 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 fantastic. It's impressive. It's yeah. very impressive. It's really good work. On I'm glad the, she brought Mary it Ellen to Largo. She, yeah, you know, and it's and then St. Pete's, too. And then St. Pete's in a couple of more months. We'll see you there. So yeah. if you're in this area, you're going to be liking my page. You're going to be... I'm doing the shop. For meditation tomorrow. Come by. Oh, what time It'll is that at? At 11 o'clock. At 11 and after you. I brought my drum. Boom. Oh, nice. <laughs> and we all know we love some drumming. All okay. right, guys. Listen, thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to give you guys a hard tap. I've got a line at my table. I've got to get going on this, but I wanted to make sure that we you know, connected and really kind of showed you where a lot of this stuff is coming. We have plans for all over Florida, but then also coming to upstate New York, Syracuse, the I-90 corridor, the Northeast. Cool stuff coming, guys. I'm really happy to be a part of it. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, check these guys out. I know you, you're not on this page in a vacuum. Um, you know, take a look at some of the vendors, and I tried to give them some run here. Um, these guys are following their dream, they're following their passion. And I've always been about that to help other people. I've just really learned that maybe I'm supposed to fly in and just help them out that way and not really involved in any other way. I'm taking my coffee because that's what you do when you figure it out. I want to thank you guys for being part of my journey. I'm going to give you the hard tap. Penny, I know you watch this till the end. I know you do. You're a Brandon junkie and I'm a Penny junkie, but Penny's going to be involved with this place. We're going to show you how here soon. It's a lot of fun. All right, guys, we're going to give each other a hard tap and tell you to simply keep going. All right, I got to figure out how to get the heck out of here. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I really don't know what the hell I'm doing. Oh, there's the other people. Oh, oh there we go. All right, guys, see you later. Keep going.